Hello everyone, welcome to Sir Bubong's Math Online Classroom. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Thank you. So we are in our lesson 1 that talks about the representation of functions part 2. And our objectives are the following. First, define compound function or piecewise function and represent real life situation using function including piecewise function. Function as representations of real life situations. Functions can often be used to model real situations. Identifying an appropriate functional model will lead to better understanding of various phenomena. So, sa ano aspeto ng buhay natin nakikita si function? Let's try this input and output. So, our input or the domain here is the computer hardwares while our output or range is our printed materials. So, anything that we encode, anything that we put in a computer set using keyboard or the internet connection or the apps in the computer is what will, that will be the resulting product in our output or the printed materials. So, kung ano yung tinatype mo, yan din yung lalabas sa printer. So, that is a clear uh, example of input and output. Another example is the teacher and output is the student. So, our input here or the domain are the learnings, okay, or the information. While the output or the range is you as a student learning from the lesson okay so input is the knowledge your output is you learn the knowledge or you observe the knowledge okay example suppose you were tasked to facilitate the official t-shirt of your batch for the upcoming alumni if the t-shirt cost 150 pesos each and 50 pesos for the print express the cost C of producing X printed shirts as cost function C of X. Okay, so first let's summarize the expenses. For expenses, we have 150 for the t-shirt and 50 pesos for the printing, a total of 200 pesos. Now, we can express it as cost function C of X. So our cost function C of X is equal to uh, 200x where x stands for the number of t-shirt to be produced so in that situation you can now have your cost function c of x is equal to 200x so therefore it will be easier for you now to explain to your batch ma mate and to your supplier uh, about the expenses uh, for the alumni in the t-shirt with print okay so, for more representations of function in real life situation, visit this link. Let's, go, let's dig deeper. In the previous discussions of this lesson, a single equation represented each function. In many real life problems, functions may be represented by combination of equations. Such function is called compound functions. A piecewise function or a compound function is a function defined by multiple subfunctions, where each subfunction applies to a certain interval of the main function's domain. So take note that our compound function or piecewise function here has multiple subfunctions, meaning there could be two, three, or more um, situations or conditions. For example, the compound function given by f of x is equal to 2x minus 2 if x is uh, less than or equal to 1 and x squared minus 2x plus 1 if x is greater than 1. Notice that we have um, two subfunctions but take note that each function has the connection to our domain x. Okay, so let's discuss each function. Um, one equation gives the value of f of x when x is less than or equal to 1, okay? While the other equation gives the value of x when x is greater than 1, okay? So as you notice, there are two conditions. 
x is less than or equal to 1 and x is greater than 1. That is example of a compound function or piecewise function. Let's try this. Let's have this example. You have a mobile plan that charges 300 pesos monthly which includes 100 free text messages. Messages in excess of 100 are charged 1 peso each. So, ibig sabihin, meron kang monthly na binabayaran that is 300 pesos. Yung 300 pesos na yun, may kasama na siyang 100 na free text messages. Pero, kapag within that month, sumubra ka sa 100 text messages, uh, yung sobra doon is sinacharge nila ng 1 peso each. So, represent the monthly cost for the text messaging using the function T of M where M is the number of messages sent in a month. So, ano yung uh, domain natin? Our domain here is our M or the number of messages sent in a month. Okay? So, let's have T of M is equal to first equation. We have notice that we have our first condition. Uh, you are charged 300 pesos monthly kasama na doon yung 100 pe, uh, free text messages. Therefore, we have this. No? Notice that our M here or the text messages here is greater than 0 or equal or less than and equal to uh, 100. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, uh, if your M is greater than 0 or less than or equal to 100, you will pay 300 monthly. That's the basic or the standard. Okay? But, we have here our second condition where messages in excess of 100 are charged 1 peso each. Ibig sabihin, your M here is greater than 100. Ibig sabihin, lumampas ka sa free text messages. Kasi marami kang text, so hindi mo namamalayan na within a month, na-consume mo na pala yung 100 at sumobra ka pa. Okay? Sumobra ka pa. Therefore, your babayaran, yung babayaran mo is 300 plus M. So, ano yung M dito? The number of excess. Okay? So, kung gaano kadami yung sobra mo sa 100, yun din yung magiging karagdagang bayad mo sa 300. Okay? Nagets? That is an example of a piecewise or compound function. Okay? So, we have the two conditions with respect to our domain. Ano yung domain natin? The number of messages sent in a month. Okay, let's have this another example. A jeepney ride costs 8 pesos for the first 4 kilometers. Okay, so 8 pesos the yung single sa first 4 kilometers. And each additional integer kilometers adds 1 and 50 pesos to the fare. So, nakapaglampas ka ng 4 kilometers, let's say for example, 5 and more, so magdadagdag ka ng 1.5 to the fare. Each integer, ha? Use a piecewise function to represent the fare in terms of distance in kilometers. So, what is our domain here? Our domain here is the D or the distance. So, let's have the function. F of D so, what is the first condition? The first condition is, you will pay 8 pesos for the first 4 kilometers. Meaning, your D here is greater than 0 or less than or equal to 4. So, kapag umabot ka sa 4 or less than 4, you will still pay 8 pesos. Okay? So, 8 pesos yung babayaran mo. But, the second condition, no? each additional integer you will add 1 and 50 cents. So, kapag lumampas ka ng 4 kilometer, take note, no, kilometers, integer siya ha. So, kapag nag 5 ka, nag 6 ka, so you will add 1 and 50 cents. So, if your D is greater than 4, you will have 8 plus 1.5 times D. Ano yung D natin dito? Our D here is floor function applied to D. Pag sinabi natin uh, floor function, uh, the floor function gives the largest integer less than or equal to D. Alimbawa, yung, yung kilometers mo o yung distance mo is uh, 4.1. So, kapag 4.1 siya, so 0.1 lang yung lampas, still 4 pa rin siya. Considered as 4 kilometers. Kapag 4.9 naman, hindi siya nakaabot ng 5, di ba? So, kapag 4.9, 
ibig sabihin, uh, 4 kilometers pa rin. So, hindi ka mag-charge ng, ng 1.50. Wala kang additional charge. Kasi nga, floor function. The opposite of floor function is the ceiling function. Yung floor function kasi, we round down the the decimal point. We round down. Okay? So, 4.1 to 4.9, nasa 4 pa rin. Okay? So, hindi siya mag-round up. Okay? So, that's it. So, an example of a piecewise function. Okay? So, I hope naintindihan. So, let's sum it up. A piecewise function or a compound function is a function defined by multiple subfunctions where each subfunction applies to a certain interval of the main function's domain. So, I hope that you, you've learned something from the presentation. And let's acknowledge our references. So, thank you so much for the references. No? The, we have the link and the books. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome to Sir Bubong's Math Online Classroom. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Thank you.